Okay, hello again. So today we will solve again another Let's Defend uh, Alert Challenge. This time uh, we'll deal with Idor. Idor attack. Okay, let me just close the other tabs. Okay, let me just and as best practice, do a duplicate because we will investigate the alert. <coughs> Okay, the first thing to do is take ownership. And then we create a case. Okay, if you've been following uh, my other videos, so you can now start the playbook once the page is created. Okay, the first thing is understand where the alert was triggered. So here, uh, in the second tab, let's refresh. Okay, we already have a clue what, that this is a possible IDOR, either attack indirect object reference or in layman's term, this, are, this belongs to broken access control web attack uh, if you're not familiar. So we can check the hint here. Uh, we have to review all logs from the source IP. Okay, and notice here, this is an inbound traffic and the destination is actually a web server. Notice here, this is the requested URL and we have to really dig deep, deep, deep dive on the raw logs to confirm if there's really an either attack happening. So, let's do that. Go to log management, then search for the destination IP. Notice here we just just one external IP going to the web server and uh, just a background of eDoor is actually a web attack uh, trying to exploit broken access control in order to view uh, restricted info belonging to other users. Okay, so this time you will see in the raw logs. Notice here the URL url it's a post method and notice there's a response size status code is 200 meaning it's successful and this is the parameter being exploited the user underscore id parameter equals to two and uh, notice if we check the other the other events the user id is being uh, enumerated by the attacker so you will notice it it changes per per each request so now it's three and five and what's more the website is really returning a response it's not being blocked whatsoever that's why it's triggered as either attack okay let's go back to the full chart so we know we now know when the alert was triggered and we can collect data actually all the data you need is already here the alert so it's a okay reputation group up virus total notice it has few malicious hits right so cus digital ocean is the asn okay it's doing some Okay, SSH. All right. Let's continue the workflow. Click next. Okay, we already did this. Examine the to the traffic. And we've confirmed it's doing an EDOR, right? Based on the Faroos parameter. Of course, you could review the web attacks 101 here. To confirm what I'm saying to you is accurate. Okay, let's click next. Traffic malicious definitely is exploiting the uh, e door or the broken access control vulnerability. So it's definitely malicious. And it is e door. The attack type is e i door. So notice there are other web attacks. So if you're interested in learning more, uh, we recommend you to view the web attacks 
a link provided earlier. I'll check if it's a planned test. So to do that, search. We can search the email or the mailbox for any related communication. I'll notice there's none. There's none as forever for this web server. So this is not planned. The direction of traffic is inbound, meaning internet to company network. And as we have observed earlier, there are response size. There's HTTP code is 200, so the attack was successful. Yes, it is. And since the attack was successful, it's recommended to to isolate the web server. Of course, uh, in the real world, there are there are certain SOPs, a protocol we have to follow first before isolating uh, a web server. For endpoint, it's much. Uh, easier but for server since these are hosting critical systems so it's not a very straightforward just like this okay so we have contained click next okay now we can add now add the artifact uh, which the only artifact here is this one attacker ip okay attacker ip click next oh yes we need tier 2 escalation because the attack succeeded and common cases for this is that this needs to be escalated further to the dev team or application team in order to fix the vulnerability the either vulnerability or perhaps deploy a WAF a WAF as a compensating control to, to really thwart uh, web attacks like this so yes Okay, let me just copy the analyst note I I've already created. So, save the time. Uh, this is my write up. Okay, we have observed in the firewall logs the attacker IP is doing a, either attack. Uh, we can confirm that in the post parameter where the attacker is iterating through the different user ID on each request. Click next, and we can now. Close the alert or give this position first. Okay, we can now close the alert and this goes to confirm true positive. We can just copy the same analysis analysis note and click close. There you go. Okay. Okay. So we can start. With reviewing the questions here, that's the beauty of this platform, that's the fun. Show show if you get all the answers correct. Alright. 